Hi, Junker. Wanna be in my vlog? No. It is Thursday, March 25th, 2010. And this is my second vlog that I'm going to try and make. Hopefully it'll get up before midnight this time. Working on some uh, a new a new video for my music channel on YouTube. Those of you who actually like know me personally and know my family will, will probably be able to pick out the song here. So give you a little preview mm -hmm. of what I'm hoping mm -hmm. to. Uh, I don't know. I'll be putting up hopefully sometime either mm -hmm. tomorrow or the mm -hmm. next. Mm -hmm. Give you a preview of what hopefully I'll be putting up either tomorrow or the next day, somewhere around there, when I get a chance to finish it all. That's it. That's all you get. So today, this morning, it was raining really badly guys and it is a crappy day out it is raining like crazy well not like crazy but close enough that i feel like i'm going crazy the plans today are to go to school which i'm doing right now and then uh maybe catch the lunch with a friend and uh work on trying to get that that song done After a couple classes, or after my Spanish class, I went over to the comp computer lab and uh, just kind of, you know, surfed the web for a while, and then eventually met up with my friend Heather, had some uh, some lunch with her. Diet green tea. Uh -huh. Metabolism. I like how it says metabolism, like in nice bold letters. Yeah. <laughs> Made from the best stuff on earth. I was actually yeah, watching right. a video uh, in the computer lab downstairs about bottled water. Oh, yeah? And it's called, like... The series is called Where Stuff Comes From or something like that. Uh, just making an argument of how tap water is actually better for you than, uh, than bottled yeah. water. Or just healthier for the environment in general. So like they made the point of plastic bottles to manufacture yeah. pollute a lot. Oh, yeah. So And they and when people throw them out, they just end up like wherever. In landfills in India, yeah. apparently, according to this person. Yeah, she like went to India and said she saw like a mountain of plastic bottles that had... Yeah. Had anything yeah. done with them as well. It's actually right now in the um, Pacific. It's called like the Ring. Of, I forget what it's called, but it's literally plastic has like come out like into the ocean, and it's literally it's stuck in the current. So if you go in the ocean, in the middle of the ocean, you'll go and you'll find plastic yeah. covering the ocean. But speaking of bottled water, really quick, um, in my chemistry class, we're studying water samples, and we get our water from the Maumee River. Right. So like we're studying um, like nitrate levels, but we're also studying tap water and our tap or tap water and bottled water so I can tell you how different like the tap and the bottle is yeah and then it's probably going to be the same but <laughs> yeah you have to let me know yeah, I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah I'm on a couple weeks after uh, after hanging out with Heather I went over to my social psych class and we, we talked about the Milgram experiment which is probably the most recognized psychology experiment on the face of the earth so I had quite a bit to talk about that when it comes to that experiment just got out of my social psychology class, um, and was surprised to walk outside. You know how it was raining earlier? Yeah, well, it is now snowing. It, it's some. It's not exactly snow, but it's not rain. It's right in the middle. It's it's slain. Or row. Uh, today in my social psych class, we talked about the Milgram experiment, which is probably 
the thing that gets beaten into all psych majors' heads more than anything else. Anyway, if you don't know what the experiment is, uh, basically it was done. Milgram wanted to see what the effects are on people if they have a, a, an authoritative person telling them what to do and whether or not they really have a version of free will where they, you know, decide what to do. You know, one person on one side of a wall and having another person on the other side of the wall. The first person on one on the one side has a big machine that is supposed to deliver electric shocks to the other person on the other side. Uh, it was found that like 60, no, 70 percent of the people who did the experiment were willing to go all the way up to where it said that you would be killing someone. Uh, it was 65 percent of men. And uh, what the surprising thing was is that women were more likely to go all the way to the whole, whole 150 volts and beyond, which is interesting because, you know, socially we're, we, ex we think women as being more empathetic, more uh, caring and loving, where this study showed that that isn't the case in most, in most times. Uh, then uh, after I had gotten back home from, from school, uh, went over to work, got my check, checked out my schedule for the, both this week and next week, and I found out that my boss, Dawn, does not like getting her picture taken, nor does she like video of herself, so she has no problems with audio, so... Hi, Kyle. I don't know what's a blog. Yep. How could I do it? A, a blog is a video log. Oh, no video. Uh -uh. Of your daily activities. Yeah, no video. I'm Charlie. Okay. If it can be verbal, go for it. But, uh, no. <laughs> People would worry about you. They'd be afraid for you. They'd be saying, quit that job. You look at that every day. Oh, my God. Somebody, you're not blind. Uh, then I headed home. Um, and I've been working on this music project now for a while, for, for a little bit. Uh, I think I'm on my, I think I just did my, like, seventh take. It gets kind of monotonous, but it, it's worth it for a good quality uh, recording. However, I'm a little little unhappy because here. So this is the the microphone that I use. And I use this, and since my acoustic guitar doesn't have a pickup, I have to just record straight to this microphone. And I have it running into my amp here, but my amp's output right here does not work. So I have to grab my my awesome rock band. Uh, microphone, put it up against the, the amp here, and then that's running through the USB into my computer, which is then up here. Honestly, the Rock Band um, microphone picks up pretty well. It does a pretty good job. There are points where like the bass seems to get a little distorted, but other than that, it seems to have really good quality. So I'm actually really impressed. All I have really to do now is get some homework taken care of, um, and then probably see if my finger's okay because I've been playing so much that it hurts now. It wasn't wasn't too busy today. Actually, it was kind of relaxing, so it was, uh, it was nice. And instead of always saying Ray Williams Johnson's keep on trolling thing, I want to do maybe just some quotes. Here's a really good quote uh, for a lot of people that are kind of in, in some, some dark spots like I am right now. Uh, Robert Frost. In three words, I can sum up everything I've learned about life. It goes on. The words you say color the leaves and make them all fall down. If you only knew what they'd done. You wouldn't follow them around You're already gone So I must leave 